we say that del square 1 over x minus 6 prime is this one is rather a special function because it is the potential of a point charge and it is equal to a delta function and if the distribution of charges will be given to us then phi of x is equal to integral k 1 over x minus x prime and rho of x prime dq x prime. The potential will be given by the distribution of charges and what this is actually, uh, this is a very special equation and you can say rather incredible equation which is the potential of a point charge. Now, what does this say? This equation says that the source charge, the source is at x prime, means the charge distribution is at x prime. This is source and it is causing an effect at x, right? So this is the source in it x is the cause of it. You are finding the potential. Potential is the cause of it. Means source is the charge distribution and cause of it is at x. So this uh, response, the response of this thing means source the result or the cause of that source is actually proportional to this one. This gives you the magnitude of that thing. That's why it's very special. So the magnitude of the response which is actually pi of x, it is given by 1 over x minus x prime. So, 1 over x minus x prime is like a response function and this response function is telling us the cause, the cause here means this is the source. The source, this function is telling you what is happening due to the source at the observation point like you change the charge distribution it will affect the cause there right it will affect the response there at that point and that response we are getting only due to this thing clear so in general in general words i can say it means in simple words i can say here is a source here is the distance, s minus x prime is the distance and here is your observation point. You are changing the charge distribution here. So the distance is actually communicating that effect there to the observation point. If you decrease the distance, then the response will be different. So the response is actually communicated by this distance. So I will say that when a function is having, when a function is having such kind of properties that it behaves like a delta function. Okay, its Laplacian is a delta function, and it is a response function itself. 1 over x minus x prime is a response function itself and its Laplacian is the delta function then such a function I will call green function right the function which has these two properties I will call such a function is green function and the green function g x x prime I define A is 1 over 
x minus x prime. So such a del square of this green function x x prime is giving you the delta function. And in this case, we require no boundaries. Right? So, we say that the green function is also the solution of Laplace equation for a point source at position x prime. Like this is the Laplace equation. This Laplace equation is the solution of the green function is the solution of this Laplace equation for a point charge. Why point charge? Because here is the response function. Here is a point response function. x equal to x prime is only a value x not equal to x prime is not a value. So it is a like a point function and the response function due to this one I will see green function is the solution of a point charge at x prime. So if we sum all the solutions of this then I can write then phi of x will be equal to k times integral g x x prime g x x prime rho of x prime d q x prime okay. Now, this is the solution, means this will give you phi of x and this equation requires no boundaries because only charge distribution is sufficient for this, clear? But what if boundaries are present? What if boundaries are present. Okay. What if boundaries are present? What does this mean? This means that this will give you the potential of a certain distribution of charges and you don't need any boundary conditions to finally get rid of this thing. This is without any boundary. But when charge distribution will not be given to you and you are calculating the potential, then in that situation you will have to apply some boundary conditions. You will have to fix some value and relax the other value, it will be free. Like you fix potential, electric field will be free. You fix electric field, potential will be free. So if boundaries will be present, then in some system with boundaries, we need that f del square of g of x, x prime is equal minus 4 pi delta x minus x prime means this will be the uh, Laplacian equation so we can have the what will be g of x g of x x prime will be equal to 1 over x minus x prime plus f of x x prime 
right? Such waves, such waves, if I take the Laplacian of this f, x, x prime, then this will be equal to zero. If you take the Laplacian of the one, then it will be equal to zero. This is almost the same situation we did very simply there. I am not, you can say, doing the comparative analysis of this. Del square G is equal to this. And the solution will be a green function. This one. When there will be no boundaries, right? But when there will be boundaries, then the green function will not be only equal to this one, but some extra term will be added with this. Clear? This is just like indefinite integral. Some, some term is there. What kind of term this will be? If you will take the Laplacian of this one, it will be equal to zero. Now come back here. The derivative of this is equal to 3 if there will be no boundaries. Clear? If there will be no boundaries, the derivative of this is equal to 3. This is fine. But when there will be boundaries, then this will be equal to the green function. Now this is your green function. The green function is equal to this as well as constant. What this constant is? If you take derivative of this constant, it is equal to zero. Right? If you will take derivative of this, then it will be equal to zero. In the same analogy, you are having this one. Your green function is equal to this when no boundary is there. When boundary is there, then initial term will come in which will count for the boundary. Such that the Laplacian of that term will be equal to zero. Like you take del square of this g, then it will be del square of this plus del square of this. Then this del square will be contributing nothing. Right? But only this will contribute. This claim, it will contribute nothing to the Laplacian. But to the boundary, it will contribute to the variable to the function it will continue. Now over there it was just a constant because in one dimension then there is no concept of a function because till here you are getting a function till here you are getting a function but after this one it's one dimension then the next will be a constant it is just then the intercept which will go up and down the slope will remain the same the attitude of the line will remain the same. Attitude means the slope of it. While it goes up and down, this is due to the intercept. Clear? It is clear. No boundaries, your green function will be only equal to this. If boundaries are there, you will have to define an extra term there. What kind of extra term there will be? Its Laplacian will be equal to zero. Means from the Laplacian point of view, it will contribute nothing to the green function. But it will only calculate the boundary effects. Okay. So if this thing is clear, then we will write that let's do that fine. Phi in the green function is equal to phi of x and psi in the green function we write is our green function. Our green function is actually potential, right? Yes. 1 over x by x prime is actually potential. So I can write the green theorem is phi of x is equal to k and v d 
d q x prime g x x prime rho of x prime plus one over four pi and surface integral on as a whole then g x x prime and 30 phi over 30 n prime minus phi of x prime and 30 g over 30 n prime and d So I just replaced 1 over x minus x prime by g of x x prime. This I define is my green function and now we will make some constraints uh, regarding the boundary condition. <coughs>